Hello everyone. So today I will introduce my new book, CCD in depth. Okay. And this is a network design book, vendor natural network design book. As you know, CCD exam also is vendor natural. So there is no Cisco, Juniper, any equipment, any uh, specific knowledge for those vendors. Okay. So, okay, what is this book? Why you should get it? What's the difference between this one and the uh, other books in the industry? If there is any other CCD related, uh, Cisco CCD uh, exams, uh, certified design exam. Uh, let me cover, let me explain you why you should get this, who should get this, how you should read it, and what are the differences between the other books, okay? So basically in this book, we have 13 chapters most important CCD blueprint topics are covered, not maybe each and everything. Like uh, you will not find here management topics like Telnet, Telnet SSH, those kind of things. But uh, starting from the layer two technologies, then network design tools like scalability, load balancing, some network topologies, triangle topology, uh, square topology, mesh, those kind of things. And then uh, IGP protocols, of course, from the design point of view, are covered from uh, in detail. OSPF, ISAS, and EIGRP, not RIP. And basically, for OSPF, how and why actually, why you should do multi-area OSPF, how OSPF interacts with the other uh, overlay and underlay protocols, okay, like BGP, MPLS, or with the HSRP, like uh, first of redundancy protocols. Or when, when you come to the ISAS, how multi-level ISAS, why you are doing it, what are the design concentrations if you are using ISAS with the IP backbone or with the MPLS backbone, so on and so forth. And once you come to EIGRP, most important, again, features from the design point of view, like EIGRP stop, okay, in large scale design, or what is the EIGRP uh, feasible successor and how it's related with the IP phase reroute methodologies. Those kind of things are covered, and again, all these topics, all these uh, IGP topics especially, they are interacting with the other uh, underlay and overlay technologies, so they are, uh, I am covering all of them in detail. Then we have VPN design, GRE, IPsec, DM, VPN, get VPN, LISP, and then, uh, of course, I am comparing. Most important, uh, one of the most important features of this book, actually, comparison charts. Today, if you ask any uh, network engineers who is uh, studying for the CCD and uh, uh, most probably they, they got the, this book already because it's uh, out since two months, I think. And if you ask them, they will tell you, yes, comparison charts and practical scenarios. So comparison charts important. In every, every chapter, we have lots of comparison charts. For example, I am just looking VPN design here and in VPN design, DM VPN versus get VPN comparison. So these kind of things might come in the CCD exam, but also important in real life. After the uh, VPN design, I'm explaining IPv6 design, IPv6 transition uh, methodologies, okay, six over four or four over six, some trans translation and also dual stack, of course, then comparing all of them. And then BGP, BGP is very long, actually almost 100, uh, and 50 pages so like MPLS they are uh, most actually detailed two chapters after that uh, quality of service multicast then two chapters actually for the CCD practical scenarios as you know there are two books for C targeting CCDE uh, Cisco Press CCD study guide and CCD in depth by Orhan Ergun and what's the difference actually in CCD study guide you cannot find uh, CCD practical scenarios in this book you will find two as you might know in real CCD exam you will have four CCD scenario practical scenarios and you will have totally eight hours so which mean approximately you will have two hours per scenario so four hour scenario two scenarios uh, are covered in this book this is very important and why you should get this book in the first place this is very important because you are targeting for CCD practical exam you don't have scenario and you don't know what is scenario, how it looks like, how you should approach, etc. Uh, then actually, only the book today covering those things uh, is CCD in there. But basically, after each chapter, I have review questions. People are asking, 
is this book helpful for the CCD written exam? Yes. And why? Because as I said, after each chapter, I have review questions. After OSPF, you will you will have here, I think, 25, 30 questions, MPLS, same, uh, maybe MPLS, 40 questions, IPv6, all, all each and every chapters, after chapter, you will have review questions from the design point of view. That's important. Let me give an example why uh, targeting those questions, targeting for the CCD written exam. As you might know, CCD written uh, exam questions uh, are not based on scenarios. Only the practical exam actually uh, questions are should be answered based on the scenario information, but CCD written is individual questions. What's the individual question? Let me give an example, technical example it will be. Uh, in the question it can tell you, okay, company has, um, let's say, multi-point to multi-point applications, they want to use multicast, so for the multi-point to multi-point, which multicast PIM deployment model uh, is best? And you should say PIM binder, but uh, you should also know why it's PIM binder. Of, of course, in this book, I am explaining after asking those questions, I am explaining the answers as well. That's very important. Okay. So basically what we have here, okay, many chapters, but those chapters are covering the technologies, those technologies, IGP, BGP, MPLS, quote of service, so on and so forth from the design point of view, then you have uh, comparison charts, like I think 40 comparison charts, uh, MPLS layer 2 VPN versus MPLS layer 3 VPN, but layer 2 VPN you have many, right? Like uh, Ethernet over MPLS, VPLS, uh, EVPN, PBB VPN, etc. Then compare it with the MPLS layer 3 VPN, for example. This is one of the comparison charts only, and DM VPN versus GET VPN, or IPFRR versus MPLS traffic engineering FRR, or full mesh IBGP versus route repetitor versus confederation. Those kind of things in real life you will definitely use as well this information, or interest VPNs, option A, B, C, D, right? So, uh, how you are comparing it from design point of view, you should understand the whys. Okay, why interest option A. Uh, is most secure or something like that okay uh, you should understand those things basically uh, technology explanation from the design point of view comparison charts uh, and two full-length practical scenarios and review question for ccd written exam after each and every chapter so that's it uh, i wanted to tell you about because many people are asking okay will this book help for the for the ccd written exam and what's the difference between this book and the uh, uh, other CCD book? And uh, shall we read both of them? Yeah, I would read probably, but uh, for the CCD practical, uh, uh, especially, you cannot find the information for the practical scenario in the, any other book. So that's why you should definitely have this book if you are targeting for the CCD practical exam. And then uh, other questions like how you can get it? Uh, can you get PDF? Yes. Uh, I will share the link below. Uh, you can just click on it. You will be redirected to orhanergun.net. From there, you can choose PDF if you want to uh, get the soft copy and you can directly purchase from the website orhanergun.net. Or if you are looking for hard copy, paperback like this, 562 pages. So you will be redirected to the Amazon. From the Amazon website, you will uh, get it. Or you can get it also uh, from Kindle. Okay, so these are the questions. If you have any que other questions, you can write down below. I will explain, I will answer all of them. And also, don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video.